Stocks with long histories of dividend payments can be great additions to your dividend income portfolio. Have you heard of the dividend kings and dividend aristocrats? They are both lists of stocks with very long histories of consecutive dividend payments. Beyond a simple benchmark of how many years these stocks have been consecutively increasing their dividend payments, there are a few other differences to consider. Before we have a tendency to begin, why don't you hit the subscribe button? And therefore the bell notification icon thus you never miss any of our videos. Let's begin. What are Dividend Aristocrats? Dividend aristocrats are public companies that have consistently raised dividends every year over the long term. There are several listings of dividend aristocrats, but the best known one is the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats Index. Companies on this dividend aristocrats list have increased their dividend payouts every year for at least 25 consecutive years. Feature a market capitalization of at least $3 billion. Saw average daily trading value of at least $5 million for the three months before the last rebalancing. Are included in the S&P 500 stock index. S&P Dow Jones Indices compiles the annual list of qualifying dividend aristocrat companies, based on information for the prior year, and it rebalances the percentage each company occupies on the list quarterly. S&P Dow Jones Indices published the most recent dividend aristocrat list on January 1, 2020. To maintain its status as a dividend aristocrat, a company must raise its dividend payment at least once during the year. New companies are added to the list as they reach the 25-year threshold. Once a company falls off the list by skipping a dividend increase, though, it must wait another 25 years to get back on the list. How to invest in dividend aristocrats? You can invest in dividend aristocrats on most traditional and online brokerages. You generally have to buy full shares of the dividend aristocrats, but some brokerages, including Schwab, Flidity, Stash, M1 Finance and Robinhood, now let you purchase fractional shares of many stocks, including dividend aristocrats. You can also invest in dividend aristocrats through exchange-traded funds ETFs, that contain all dividend aristocrat stocks, rather than buying individual names. Dividend Aristocrats ETFs Buying shares of a dividend aristocrat ETF can help you invest in dividend aristocrat stocks more easily and cheaply. For example, buying one share of 3M alone would cost you more than $160 as of mid-September 2020. In contrast, you can buy a share of the ProShares S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats ETF Noble, which provides exposure to all 65 of the current dividend aristocrats, for just over $70. Even if you're considering buying fractional shares of dividend aristocrats, an ETF may work out being more convenient and efficient. Instead of having to buy 65 stock slices each time you wanted to invest in dividend aristocrats, you can simply buy shares from a single source. How dividend aristocrats fit in your portfolio. Dividend aristocrats can make sense if you're looking for a way to boost some of your growth while building an income portfolio, says Cassandra Cummings, an investment advisor representative and founder of the Stocks and Stilettos Society, a community for women investors. Dividend aristocrats make a nice addition to a portfolio because you can be reasonably sure they are solid choices, Cummings says. They're stable enough to have continued to increase their dividend every year for decades, even during recessions. Cummings also emphasizes you can use dividends to build your portfolio faster when you reinvest them. With dividend stocks, whether they're on the dividend aristocrats list or not, you can use your payout to keep building your portfolio, Cummings says. Reinvest any payout you have to buy more shares and fractional shares of the stock. You'll have more shares, which means a bigger payout next time, which means the chance to buy more shares. This kind of compound growth is one of the keys to successful long-term investing. From 1926 to December 2018, for example, dividends accounted for about one-third of the monthly growth of the S&P 500, according to S&P Dow Jones Indices. And if you didn't reinvest dividends during that period, your average annual return would have been about 75% lower than if you had. With that in mind, it's easy to see why some investors home in on dividend aristocrats ETFs, which offer more than 20% higher dividend yields than S&P 500 funds. How to balance dividend investing with growth investing. While dividend aristocrats can offer high dividend yields, dividend yields alone probably aren't sufficient data to justify an investment. 
For example, if you aren't careful, you might end up with a 2% dividend yield but no capital gain over the course of 10 years, as opposed to an alternative that might provide 5% compound growth over the same time period, but no dividend, points out Todd Tresseter, a former hedge fund manager and financial coach at FinancialMentor.com. With a total return strategy, don't count out dividend income entirely, though. Over the 10-year period ending September 11, 2020, the S&P 500 Dividend Aristocrats Index saw average annual returns of 10.80%. In comparison, during the same period, the S&P 500 had average annual returns of 11.65%. Since all dividend aristocrats are listed on the S&P 500, investing in an S&P 500 index fund gives you exposure to dividend aristocrats while securing historically higher returns, even if the fund's overall dividend yield is slightly lower. What are the Dividend Kings? Dividend Kings is a category of S&P 500 companies with extraordinarily long records of consecutive annual dividend hikes. The specific requirements for admission to this elite group of dividend-paying companies is simple. To earn the Dividend Kings moniker, an S&P 500 company must have a market capitalization of more than $3 billion and a record of raising annual dividend payout amounts for at least 50 consecutive years. Dividend Kings is an impressive subcategory of the Dividend Aristocrats designation that has the same market cap requirement for S&P 500 companies but requires only 25 consecutive years of annual dividend hikes. What are the benefits of investing in Dividend Kings companies? An analysis of historical performances indicates that public companies that pay rising dividends reward their shareholders with higher overall returns over extended periods, as well as experience lower volatility over a long-term investment horizon. However, regardless of these back-tested results, financial and investment professionals stand in disagreement regarding whether dividend distributions contribute at all to the company's overall long-term total returns. Long-term distributions of rising dividend income generate a steady cash flow for investors and the rising dividends compensate for, and hopefully exceed, any inflationary effects over long-time horizons. More than just providing a steady dividend income, long-term rising dividend payouts usually indicate a well-managed company that generates sufficient earnings to cover its increasing dividend distributions and sustainable dividend payout ratios. The lowest payout ratio in the current group of dividend kings is 28% and the highest current payout ratio is just shy of 80%, with a simple average of 54% for the entire group. Any of the current dividend kings are potentially good investment choices for generating dividend income over extended periods. However, while some companies decide their dividend distribution amounts based on their quarterly results as they go along, some of these have specific dividend growth policies, which offer investors assurances that the company will take under consideration the targeted dividend hike when creating its annual budgets and plans. Additional Long-Term Advantages of Investing in Dividend Kings Dividend Kings manage to enhance their annual dividend payouts year after year, which is more than just an indication that these companies have sufficient earnings and cash flow to support the growing payouts. The decades of rising dividend distribution signal that these companies are dynamic and adapt well to changing market conditions. Effectively navigating the boom-bust business cycle, financial crises, financial bear markets and other obstacles that occur over decades also indicate that these companies are able to withstand challenging market conditions. Any company that manages to weather multiple financial storms and rough markets, while managing to enhance its annual dividends every year, is well managed and investors can expect sound long-term asset appreciation, as well as a steadily rising dividend income. Dividend Kings 50 Years of Annual Dividend Boosts The Dividend Kings is an exclusive group of only 16 companies for 2018. While there are 10 additional companies that have boosted their annual dividends for 50 years or more, only 16 companies meet the additional criteria of minimum market capitalization and inclusion in the S&P 500 index. To illustrate the selective criteria for dividend kings, consider that lowering the minimum number of years for paying dividends to 25 years as it is for dividend aristocrats expands the list of companies to 53. Further lowering the cutoff by 5 years to 20 consecutive annual dividend hikes triples the number of companies that meet the criteria to more than 150. 
in addition to the dividend kings and dividend aristocrats designations for the two top tier groups, some analysts also compile lists of so-called dividend achievers or dividend challengers companies with 10 or more years of consecutive dividend hikes. Furthermore, companies with five or more consecutive dividend boosts occasionally carry the dividend contender's label. That's it for nowadays, we tend to hope you learned a few tips. If you're still here then I bet you enjoyed the video, provides it's a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you.